Hello, my name is Yasmin. I've been to this school for two years and I did maths, further maths and economics. Hi, my name is Ceres. I've been here for two and a half years and I do biology, psychology and English literature. So today we would like to talk about our experience at this school and how AL department helped us to improve our English language skills and um, well, just our school experience in general at this point. <laughs> yep. So, Ceres. What did you find hardest when you first came to the UK and how did you overcome these issues? Ooh. Well, when I first came to the UK, I was sort of the more the quiet person and I I was actually pretty scared of everything at that point. So, the way I overcame these issues, ooh, was just to start getting involved in school and just ask any questions whenever you, you can, honestly. Just don't be afraid to speak up if you want to be stop being quiet and well, stop being afraid, really. How about you? Well, for me, the most difficult thing was to understand native speakers because uh, they would speak very quickly, they would use uh, some language which I've never met in any textbooks. So I think that the best way to overcome this issue is just to talk as much as you can. And if you don't understand something, just feel free to ask anyone. And the more questions you ask, the easier and the quicker you learn, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what role did the school or the EAL department play in helping you initially or other times? Uh, well. I think that EL department played a crucial role in me getting used to the school because it helped me to improve my English language skills also. Um, whenever like you don't know how things are run in the school, you can come to your EL teacher and they would understand, uh, they would explain you what you need to do. So it's not only about learning the language but also learning how the school functions in a country which is like you're, which you're not familiar with. What so what about you? Let's see. Well, I came here at a very odd time. I actually came here in the middle of the year, so it was quite hard for me to cope with a new system since I came from Hong Kong, which is really different. So the, m the most I got out of this, was the teachers actually helped me a lot. So they were very supportive. They helped me in any way they could, just told me to keep asking questions if I didn't understand anything and just and really encouraged me with my schoolwork and well just it was a lot of mental support a lot as well yeah so. i agree with you yeah so what advice would you give to new pupils in getting involved in school life just do everything just do everything school play mun six form council or CCF. just any sort of clubs just do everything just so you know just you start to get a feel of school life and you'll get to know people as well and you'll make friends in the most unexpected of places. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, by taking part in different activities, it keeps you busy all the time, so it also helps you to uh, overcome homesickness. Uh, oh, you, just, homesickness. you just do stuff all the time. You're surrounded by people and this kind of supports you. And if you have any issues, you can always talk to your peer who goes to the same club with you, who shares the same interests and you feel supported, I guess. Yeah, fair. Also, I think, uh, from my experience, I joined the MUN club in early year 12. It was very difficult for me at the first time, but as I got used to the club, uh, as time passed, I started to understand these special MUN terms, these special words, and then I even took part in a few conferences. So the main idea is that even if you, if you are afraid of taking part in this kind of clubs, because maybe you are afraid of your uh, language skills or just you're just a shy person, you just need to come there and as time passes, you'll get there, 100%. Yeah. So how are your experiences with charity work or, well, just advice on being, being prefect? Um, I applied for a prefect position in late year 12, and I was honored to become one of the heads of school. Mm -hmm. And I think this really helped me to see uh, how the school functions, uh, how everything is run. It's like you change your perspective of the school, and uh, by doing this, you not only get a lot of new experience, but also you broaden your horizon. So I guess by becoming a prefect, you just learn so many new things. Yeah. It does help with university applications as well, actually. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Uh, so what are you most proud of from your time at the school? Oh, actually becoming a head of house is it something I never thought I would be, because I'm generally a very shy person in general. But being prefect and head of house just really helped me get out of my shell and just sort of be a leader for once and just found something that I never really knew I had. <laughs> How about you? Well, for me, it's something very small. At the beginning of uh, year 12, I met a guy who was very, very nice to me and who was a day student, but I just couldn't understand what he was talking about. It was very difficult for me to 
like he was talking very quickly, he was using these new words and I could never follow him. And at the end of this year, I can confidently say that now I know what he's talking about. <laughs> so I'm very proud of the fact that I did manage to improve my uh, English language Aww. skills. Uh, what have you enjoyed the most in this school series? Oh, what, what did I enjoy the most? I couldn't actually just pick one thing. I'm going to say it's the boarding life that, I'm, that I did enjoy the most. I mean, at times you get a little homesick, but when you're here, effectively, the boarding house becomes your home and everyone has to get along together and you learn so much from different people from different cultures. So, yeah. And the teachers are also really nice to you. Yeah, <laughs> really. I would say the same. Yeah. I really love the people here. Yeah. So it's just sort of my second home at this point, the boarding houses. So, yeah. I think this is a place that we would definitely come back yeah. in a few years, I guess. Yeah, next year, actually. Hopefully. So yes, please come back. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, that's it. Good luck on your journey. We believe in you. Just do everything. Stay humble and work hard and you yeah, will be fine. Good. You'll be okay. Thank you.